Hello, this is the hack for multiplication. Now, uh, there are two parts to this this, uh, pro this part, this segment. We actually have the first part is for P1 and then the other part will be for P2. So let me just explain for the primary one first, uh, how are we going to carry out this thing. So for P1, we want them to be familiarized with the uh, times table from 1 to 4. Now how we are doing it is uh, we have flip charts like that and then um, I'm going to demonstrate to them how do you execute a multiplication which is 2 times 4 so for 2 times 4 all you have to do is draw 2 horizontal lines followed by 4 vertical lines and for the answer what you do is you calculate the number of intersections that they are over here so for example 2 times 4 I mean we know that it's 8 but for the primary 1 students what they do is they calculate they, they count right like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the answer will be 8 so this type of uh, this method will be useful where they are able to draw lines on pieces of paper okay I'm just going to demonstrate another one to show you how it works so let's say I have bigger number let's say 3 times 4 right so what we're going to do we're going to draw 3 lines horizontal and then 4 lines vertical Okay, and what they have to do is to just count, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 3 times 4 equals to 12. Alright, so this method is useful for knowing the 1 to 4 or even up to 5. Okay, now what happens if they do not have paper, right? There's no paper for them to draw lines and then they still need to do the multiplication. Okay, I'm going to show you how we do this. This part of the video explains what you're going to do if you don't have a piece of paper for you to draw lines but yet you still need to be able to calculate uh, sums, uh, multiplication sums like 2 times 3. Right? You use your fingers, you in fact tap your fingers. So when you have a 2 multiplied by 3 or 2 times 3 is actually the same as tap 2 times on 3 fingers. Right? and then you count so for example over here tap two times on three fingers on the left hand just have three fingers over here and then tap two times so it's a one two three four five six right so the answer will be equals to six okay so let's try another one if i have three times five right i want to find out what's the answer for three times five so tap three times on five fingers Right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the answer is 15. Okay, so this method is used when the student doesn't have any paper. Right, so just using fingers, uh, the, 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 the algorithm or the method is to just put the word tap and put the word fingers here. Right, this will remind them to tap two times on three fingers or tap three times on five fingers to obtain the answer okay so once again this is only for p1 students which is useful for one to four or five times table okay this video is for p2 students or even p1 students who are already very good with those uh, one to four one to five times table and they want to go more right like the uh, six to nine times table so what we do is we use the finger method to help them to remember okay i'm just going to demonstrate one so for example if i, if I want to do eight times eight okay what we have to do is to just uh, just uh, uh, show eight on the left and eight on the right so this is like eight and eight okay it actually looks like that from uh, your point of view okay from my point of view so this is eight times eight so if i need to multiply eight with eight now look at how many fingers are pointing up. They're actually like 1, 2, 3, and then the other side is 4, 5, 6. So that's like a 60. So fingers pointing up are 10. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, so 60 is pointing up. Now next, you look at how many fingers are pointing down. I have 2 here and 2 here. Now what I, what I have to do is to multiply 2 with 2. So 2 with 2 gives me 4, and I just add them together. So 60 plus 4 will become... 64. So the answer for 8 times 8 is 64. Alright, so let's try another one to make sure that you know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's try 7 times 8. 
okay so what is 7 times 8 so this is 7 on the left and then times 8 8 on the right like that so how many fingers are pointing up 10 20 30 40 50 right so this is like 50 plus now how many fingers are pointing down so I have 1 2 3 here and then 2 over here so 3 times 2 is equals to 6 right so 6 so 50 plus 6 will become 56 so the answer for 7 times 8 is 56 okay let's just try one more right to be sure to confirm uh, that we know what's going on here okay let's try 6 times 8 okay so what is 6 this is 6 and this is 8 so 6 times 8 looks like this Alright, so how many fingers are pointing out? So 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 40. Plus, now how many fingers are pointing down? I have 4 here, and I have 2 here. So that's 4 times 2, which gives me 8. So 40 plus 8 becomes 48. Alright, so this method is good for the 6 to 9 or uh, 6 to 8 uh, bigger number times table. Right. If you have a smaller number, you will refer back to the P1 method of doing line counting okay? that is, or even the finger tapping method. Okay? So that would be the easier way for them to learn multiplication. Now, of course, some of you may have some concerns that, hey, you know, this, this doesn't look like uh, uh, the, 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 the traditional way of learning. Right? What's the traditional way of learning? You've got to memorize everything. You are correct, right? You are, you, are, you, are, you are right, right? This is like not the traditional way of learning. But after some time, what I have experienced is that um, when they do enough of this, right, automatically they don't have to keep doing like, you know, eight times, ah, they have to keep doing that. No, they, do not, they don't have to do that anymore, right? They remember. So what we are teaching them is a way for them to remember so they don't dislike multiplication. Okay, so you got to think uh, from that point of view, all right? Now, of course, when we are talking about the multiplication, we cannot do away with explaining how the special 9 times table works, right? So, um, that's a very quick demonstration. So, if you need to take a 1 times 9, right, what do you do? You look at your hands over here, right, you just cover 1. So, 1 times 9 and you count the number of fingers left that is equal to 9, okay? So, what about 2 times 9? You just cover the second one, so that's 1 here and 8 on the other side, so that's 18. Okay, 3 times 9, like that, 27, you look like a Spider-Man over here, right? 4 times 9 is 36, and so on and so forth, okay? So you can explain this very simple hack for the 9 times table to them, which you don't even have to count, all you have to do is to look at your fingers.